Oh, good morning, fellow travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive, and I hope that you are too. Every single day, never take it for granted. As my old hospice uh, training taught me, um, you woke up today, a lot of people didn't. And uh, if I see you the next time we do pranayama tomorrow, the day after uh, you woke up, a lot of people won't. So it's very precious. Don't wait till you're older or you're sick or somebody else in, in your own uh, circle is at risk. Appreciate the gift of life every single day. Remember, <clears throat> life is spirit's gift to me, and what you do with that life is your gift to spirit. All right, our mudra of the day is an interesting one called Dwaja, Dwaja, Mushti, Mudra, flag fist, strange name. You make, make, with, uh, with your left hand, you make a fist and you wrap the thumb around the outside, and then you hold it straight up and you put your right hand on top of that. Mushti Mudra. It means sealing, concealing something, containing something precious, like keeping it secret, something between you and the spirit. Or sometimes you're, someone t tells you something that's vouchsafed to you and you go to your grave not letting anybody else know that. Flag fist. So reflect on that, something that you know that no one else is going to know, whether it's about yourself or you're holding it in trust for someone else and you never reveal this. Flag fist. All right, today we're up into our last... Surya Bedna technique, uh, one of the most powerful ones. That's where we're doing the hold of Mulbanda and Uddiyana Bandha after each breath. So first process will be open right nostril inhale, Mulabanda, open left nostril exhale, Uddiyana Bandha. Let's get to it. Tuck your chin. Remember, Jalandhara Bandha is not only dropping your chin, it's also lifting your sternum, finding a balance between the two so you don't over tense your neck muscles, which could lead to headache, irritability. All right, even swooning. All right, exhale, raise the hand. Block your left, open the right, inhale. Wait there, pull, root lock. Relax the lock, block the right, open the left, exhale. Relax the hand and Uriyana Bandha. Relax the lock and restore your breath. And when you're playing around with yoga concepts, you know that the viewpoint can either be impoverishing or causing deficiency in you, sense that you're not worth anything, or can enrich you and have value added awareness to you. How are you going to play the game? This is where study is so important. Second cycle, exhale, raise the hand. Block left, open right, inhale. Wait there, squeeze the root lock, lower perineum, in and up. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand and Uddiyana Bandha, above and below the navel. Pull it in and up. And gently relax. Exhale. Restore the breathing. Now, when we say lock, Bandha, it can be misconstrued because it conjures up somehow the notion of like clamping down like on a padlock. All right, but you don't want to increase that tension. That's too much. You have to learn how to do that within your capacity. Third cycle, first round. Exhale, breath. Raise the hand. Block the left. Open the right. Inhale. Wait there. Draw the lower abdominal area in and up. Relax, block right, open, exhale, left. Drop the hand, Uddiyana Bandha, upper abdominal area, in and up. And relax and restore to breathing. 
Now, one of the Western prejudices is that we, <clears throat> we sometimes assume anything that isn't Western, it's a myth, it's superstitious, it's negligible, even contemptible. There's a lot that they have to offer us, even though a lot of what they did was pre-scientific, and we have a very different way of looking at reality. But their intuition, golden. Second round, first cycle, narrowed nostril right on the inhale, open nostril left on the exhale. Restorative breath, raise the hand. Block your left, narrow the right, breathe in. Pause there, squeeze the mulbanda. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restore to breathing. I'm purposely not holding to the point of busting my gut. It's not the idea. Smooth, tension free, built up time over time. Second cycle, second round. Restorative exhale, raise the hand. Block the left, narrow the right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block the right, open the left, exhale. Wait there, Uriana Banda. Release the lock, restore the breathing. When you're getting composure in between the breath cycles, continue to smooth the skin on your forehead. No furrowing of your brow, no showing any kind of preoccupation or tenseness in your face. <clears throat> Third cycle, second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root block. Release the lock, block the right, open the left, exhale. Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restore the breathing. So even though we're doing what seems to be exercises or external work, paying attention to what we're doing, watching the sensations, my teacher says you have to move away from the cult of the body to the cultivation of consciousness. So we're using the body to function through the mind, and through the mind we're trying to get an insight into the living spirit. All right, third cycle. This is to be open right nostril, inhale, mu bandha, narrowed left nostril, exhale, and then Uddiyana Bandha. Restorative exhale. Raise the hand. Block your left, open the right, inhale. Wait there, pull mul bandha. Relax the lock, block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restore the breathing. You know, it's interesting when we're using our hands and we're using different kind of mudras to hold here. Enjoy your hands. Appreciating your hands and the opposable thumb and all they can do makes you appreciate living in a certain way. It'd be hard to do a lot of things if we didn't have our hands. So I 
Love your hands. Second cycle, third round. Exhale the breath. Raise the hands. Block your left. Open the right. Inhale. Wait there. Root lock. Release the lock. Block right. Narrow left. Exhale. Drop the hand. Wait there. Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restore to breathing. All right, one other tip about your head position. If when you're breathing you notice that the breath is touching more the left side of your windpipe, you know your head is tilting to the right. So notice that, that when your head is tilted, it cuts off that side. So make sure you're absolutely in the center so you feel the breath moving in the center canal. Exhale, third cycle, third round. Raise the hand, block left, open right, inhale. Now, wait there in Mula Banda. Release the lock, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax the hand, Uriana Banda. And gently release, restore to breathing. Now it's true on the inhale, don't hold it till you feel like you're about to burst, right? It's percolating, but you're not overdoing. And the same thing, external retention should never be forced. Because if you force it, you lose your grip. And then you feel dry in your lungs. So make sure you're not doing that. All right, we're up to the final round, which is narrow right nostril inhale, Mulabanda, narrow left nostril exhale, Uriana Banda. Let's get to it. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand, lock your left, narrow the right, and breathe in. Wait there, Mula Banda. Release the lock, block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release <coughs> and restore to breathing. Now practicing every day and trying to come up with variations as well as repeating things again and again, that's the real creativity. How to come back and see the world with fresh vision. Even if you fall short of what you expect will be the outcome, like I say, fail joyfully. But bringing your ability to see something you've never seen before or do something you've never done before. Like I said, learning and growing. Learning, find out something new you didn't know before, and growing, do something you never did before. Second cycle in the fourth round. Exhale your breath, raise the hand. Block left, narrow right, breathe in. Wait there, drop the hand, pull, root lock. Lock the right, narrow left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the grip and restore the breath.
Now, yoga is also, in an ongoing way, interested in how you interact with people. To be means to be related. And so ethics, the yamas and niyamas, are not just part of the path, that is the path, especially since you spend so much time off the mat interacting with other people. And yet they say when devotion to the truth is the reason for your existence and you are centered in it, the rules of correct living come without effort and obedience to them will be instinctive. Last round, exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, inhale. Now wait there, pull the root lock. Let the lock go, block right, narrow left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restorative breathing. Slowly raise your head up. And gently open your eyes. All right, so we're there. Very nice. So we'll have a break for tomorrow and we'll come back on Monday, beginning a new week of alternate nostril breathing known as Nadi Shodna. Now, as they say, if you recite the sacred syllable, Om, and you contemplate the subtle echo that's found at the end of each time you chant, then this most excellent energy, it's such a resonance that you achieve what they call voidness of consciousness. That means you empty your mind of all thought, and then you enter into being itself. So may we all honor what we advocate. May we champion what we love and care for. May we champion those who need our help. May we position ourselves behind what we believe so we live a life of truth and joy. Peace be with you.